Hi guys and welcome back to another episode on the channel. Today I will show you how to load your own custom fonts into IMGY and how to use them. Before starting please subscribe and leave a like as it helps me a lot and I hope to grow back to where I was before. And join my Discord server because you can find a bunch of awesome stuff there. So without further ado let's get right into the video. In today's video I'll show you how to load fonts by using the ttf method so we're gonna load from a ttf file so you can search ttf fonts on google and download any font you want from here download the ttf file and after that when you want to use it you can either install it and put it in a folder and we're gonna go to that path or you can put it into local disk c windows fonts here and it will automatically installed when you put it here so by example i'll show you just an example i'm going to use Arial for this video but take this ttf file and drag it into the fonts here and it's going to say installing fonts and it's now here i recommend you that if you make any program you tell them to put their font into windows fonts or make the program automatically download it there you can put it in a custom place if you want. I just recommend it here in Windows Phone Windows Fonts. All right. So after you installed your font, you can go and open the IMGY source. So in this video, I want to make the input username and the input password look better with Arial. <coughs> And I'll show you now how to do it. Go to load fonts here where you have all the arguments. We're going to type everything here, delete whatever you have there. And first of all, we need to load the default font because if, um, if it's not used anywhere, it's going to use, if not any font is used. So if Jesus Christ, my English, if you don't use another font, a custom one, uh, you need to use the default one. So yo, the IO that fonts arrow and add font default after this we want to add our custom font and for this is pretty easily so first of all you're going to type i'm font star this is the type of the variable i'm font and then we can name the variable main font this will hold the data for the main font and this will be equal to io.font and now we add the custom font. So add font from file TTF. You can also add font from memory if you want compressed, but for now we're gonna, I'm only gonna teach you how to add font from file TTF. Okay, now you see it asks for quite a few arguments and we're gonna go through them one at a time. First of all is the file name. Keep in mind that this is not only the file name, is the complete path plus the file name. So our is in C drive, so C double dot, backslash, backslash, windows, backslash, backslash, fonts, backslash, backslash, rel.ttf. After that, it's gonna ask for the size in pixels you want for the font. I'm gonna put something medium like 18.5 float. Don't forget the F after the decimal and this is everything for me now if you have a font that contains chinese characters or gilf go ahead and type after this null and after this use io.fonts get gilf ranges and you have you have vietnamese thai korean japanese and so on so you can use get gilf ranges japanese here and that will work now Arial, i'm not sure if it has japanese characters it doesn't really matter i can leave it here just <clears throat> so i can show you and the last thing you need to do just type i am assert and set our font to null for now so i'm ascend assert main font not equal to null <clears throat> all right now we have our font loaded and declared as main font we 
our 90% of the work done, we only need to push our font and pop it where we don't want to use it anymore. So I'll show you right now what it means. I'm GUI push font makes everything be beyond that line use that any text beyond that line use the font and when you pop it it's not going to use it anymore and it's going to go back to the default font in our case the IMGI default font so if i want to use the arial font only for input username and input password everything i have to do is before input username type imgy push font and we're going to specify which font so main font and after the input password, or here after the input text, it doesn't really matter, you can use IMGUI pop font. So we're going to tell the program not to use it anymore. Let's go ahead and build it and test if everything worked fine. My mouse died literally while I was recording. That's not a problem. Because we have touchpad. How crazy is that? So let's go and test this right now. All right, and as you can see, input username, input password are now used with an Arial font, but test here and login are still the default font because we didn't push the font there. So if you want to do something for homework, let's say, you can push the font for our login button and try to use two fonts at the same time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video, I hope they helped you and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me a lot and also join Discord server if you want to see a bunch of crazy stuff. Alright, see you later guys.